With the arrival of instancing in Lightwave 11, we are finally able to render vast quantities of objects without running out of memory. The instancer is able to place these instances in a wide variety of ways, but it is the flocking system that represents a first step towards flexible control of the motion of large numbers of scene objects, taking away some of the burden and tedium from the end user of having to set these items up manually. This video is broken up into the following stages. First I'll set up a simple flocking scene to demonstrate how the system works. Secondly I'll go through each of the functions of the flocking system individually and explain how they are used. And finally I'll demonstrate how to use flocking with our instancing system and how to use it with hypervoxels. The flocking system is accessed from the effects tools tab and the flocking button here. This opens up the master control panel for the flocking system. Um, each of the elements in the scene can be controlled individually, but using this master panel is probably the simplest way of controlling your scene. So what I'm going to do is just set up a simple um, flocking example at the moment, and um, then I'll demonstrate. To set up a flocking scene, you need to add a number of elements to it. First and most basically is a flocking generator. This works similar to the um, generators in the particle effects system. So in the master control panel we'll go to add new and add generator and this creates a um, simple generator here with the default settings down in here. So what I'm going to do is just tell it I want a box 6 agents by 6 by 6 which is uh, 216 agents. They fit within a, a box size meter on each side. and the other thing I need to do is actually add in a director to tell them what to do, otherwise they'll just basically sit where they are. So I'll go add new director, and I'll add a goal, and what they'll try and do is they'll try and approach this um, approach this scene item as close as they can, and jostle around and try and avoid each other. So I'll just move this out of the way a bit, and keyframe it so you can see something interesting happen. When you set your directors up, just go calculate all motions because the um, flocking system caches everything. And you can see at the end frame that's the um, the end result. So if we go to the beginning, there's all the agents in their initial position. And as we scrub through, they all push it away from each other and then simultaneously try to approach the director as close as they can. You can see them there swarming around it. So what's going on here? We'll go through the um, properties of what we've got going on. Um, so that's basically the simplest um, flocking system that you can create. And by keyframing the location of this director, we can end up getting this, getting these um, agents to follow the follow any path we need through our scene to tell them where we need them to go. So there they go, they start out and follow the director quite happily.